All right, guys, welcome to week three of JDC season three. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the season so far. We're officially at the halfway mark, and I am really excited because this week is Crazy Combos Week. Before we get into the draft portion of this, uh, we are going to go over week two. It was Obscure Tribes Week. Uh, let's let's start with Doug, because Doug, you kind of beat my butt. Uh, and I'm a little <laughs> upset about it, but, uh, how did you feel about your, your tribe? What was your tribe for anybody that didn't get the, uh, the memo? Uh, so my tribe last week was crabs. Uh, <laughs> Irony of course, bounds. other teams did have opportunities to pick the crabs. Uh, <laughs> and I saw everyone was ignoring them and I felt a little bad for him. So I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd take the little guys and, and pick them up. Um, yeah, so. It was kind of one of those like you know pick your poison scenarios there for you. I felt like uh, yeah, I uh, I regretted in hindsight uh, not picking the crabs given <laughs> how handily you kicked my butt. Uh, but I will say we had a really fun time. Uh, we we weirdly kind of built a very similar deck, uh, which was very focused right. on one one counters, and we both had uh, what turned out to be a very silly card, which was Simic Ascendancy. Yeah, that was a, a real interesting kind of not a, an unexpected mirror match for me. And I, I thought about it a little bit because I knew you were on newses and they do have a lot of 1-1 counter synergies with them. Uh, but I, I kind of just thought you were going to go more of the, the Vanifar route and do a lot of the creature tutoring. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I thought, okay, well, you know, what's a weird way to do crabs? And two of the crabs happen to be the... The ones that uh, was it mutate or whatever that's called. Yeah, not mutate. Uh, it was the one with or adapt. Sorry. Uh, adapt. Yeah, there yeah. You go. Yep. So two of them adapt. So that's kind of what took me down that long dark road of, of <laughs> putting Simic ascendancy in the deck. <laughs> but as soon as you mentioned having a, 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 I think you said you had a a, a weird win con or something like that. Uh, oh boy, it's a near my match. backup plan. <laughs> it was my backup plan. Yeah, so um, yeah. I, uh, as Doug kind of mentioned, uh, I did go with the Ooze route. Um, I felt that Ooze was a relatively powerful um, uh, kind of tribe, uh, which I think is true. I mean, there's some very good Oozes out there. Um, unfortunately, didn't have much success with it, but uh, was very focused on the 1-1 counters, had a lot of really interesting little combos, and including an infinite combo. Uh, which was really, really fun, but didn't work. Uh, and so, uh, Doug, I, I think you won every single game. We did play three, and you won every single one. Is that correct? Uh, that might be right. I know I got the first two, and I the, I, the third one I can't remember for sure. I, I'm going to say I, I do won. know you were – you you almost had – the the first game though i think you were one mana away from just being able to combo off yeah on on a on that turn and go infinite with with the mana and everything so i i think you were super close that first one i i barely made it by the skin of my teeth there <laughs> i was very close on that first one i remember the second one i got mana like flooded i just had yeah, i think i drew yeah. nine lands or something in total cool. um which sucked but you know it is what it is so you can't help that um yeah. and then i think the last game you did win i was a turn away from getting the combo uh so then i i technically could have been able to get somewhere with it but uh, i think you had the the perfect spell to kind of deal with what i had going on so it, it worked out but uh congratulations to you obviously you won that one uh and that officially puts you in the lead doug you are winning the jdc season three competition how does that feel uh -oh. I mean, it's exciting, but it's also kind of, you know, target on your head sort of scenario now. It's, <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone's going to be coming at me here. Well, it's like where I don't know if you guys watched that other game, the uh, Among Us. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> yeah. is when I feel like I become the suspect. <laughs> you are the suspect, Rachel. We're no, counting on you. We're, ca we're counting on you, Rachel, to take Doug down because Alex and I have been unsuccessful thus far. Uh, but let's move on to Rachel. Rachel, how how did your obscure tribes week go? What tribe did you pick? How how'd the deck building process go? Give me give me your thoughts there. Alrighty, so um, I for obscure tribes had horror. Um, honestly, it was a lot of fun making it. Um, I basically the name was I think I had it as like historic lose life horror. 
Um, the entire deck was just basing it around either creatures when they enter the battlefield, creatures when they do something. Basically, it was a way to just keep na nagging at your health, even if my creatures weren't hitting you. Because that's a horrific way to die. <laughs> um, so to not even have you. the creatures kill you, it's just their effects to kill you. Rachel, um, that's so thematic. I love it. Your deck looks funny scary. And, the funny thing is, is that, and, Al and Alec could definitely Four agree five. with this, when we went against each other the first time, I had such a bad hand. I mulliganed down to two cards because there was a point where I got all seven lands. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then oh, I kept no. getting stuff that was like five mana and a, or like like convert, convert a mana cost five and up. So yeah. I was like, no, I can't do this. <laughs> so I lost that one so quickly. And he uh, did actually end up beating me three and oh. But I said, well, no, it was, it was technically he won twice in a row. So technically he just won straight out because best of two out of three. Yeah. Um, then we played it again, and then I beat him two and zero. Oh. <laughs> and it was I told him, and I said, I said the deck works. I just got really messed up that first game, <laughs> um, and I proved it to him when we replayed again. So then I just popped off like crazy. Oh, so I hate when that doesn't it was just work, really though, bad luck in the first time. Yeah, I feel you there. Again, I got flooded that second game, so I definitely understand where you're coming from. I hate when things like that happen. Uh, but I will say your deck, obviously, as you mentioned, if anybody didn't watch the replay uh, or didn't catch it live, you definitely should go watch it on uh, on Lady Ziggy's channel here. But it was so it was awesome. Uh, it was a really cool deck. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and thematically, like I said, I, I thought there was so much cool stuff that you put into it that it was just a really, really fun time to watch. So uh, well done. You did the horrors proud. Uh, I think it's safe to say. So that was awesome, Rachel. It was horrifying. Why, thank you. <laughs> and I also did enjoy the Thopters. Honestly, I was pretty happy going against the Thopters. So, <clears throat> speaking of Alex, how'd the Thopters go, man? So, uh, it was we we. I know we, maybe a week early, but I decided to go with a combo. Oh. Uh, with with the Thopters, because I was like, well, you know, the, really the best cards that make Thopters. Uh, really lends to combos and i thought can i make a really janky combo and i was like hmm is a six card infinite janky enough <laughs> and i decided maybe <laughs> so, so, we, so we tried it out uh, six essentially cards. yeah you just need six that's all that's it uh, and that's it you just need four cards that reduce artifacts or spells in general by by one mana sigh and an ancestral statue which which if you don't know what a sigh does if you cast an artifact spell you make a one one which is a thopter and an ancestral statue says when it enters the battlefield return a non-land permanent you just return the ancestral statue <laughs> so what i really liked not even about my deck about ziggy's deck uh i it, it once she got online <clears throat> i couldn't do anything because if i did i would just kill myself <laughs> <laughs> well that's it's not what... ideal alex i'm gonna be honest <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's... <laughs> i was gonna say it's only because i had enchantments that was again it's about losing life so i put in revenge of the ravens as well as trespassers curse oh so and it just worked with the deck thematically. I wasn't even trying to like pinpoint, hey, you're trying to make Thopter like tokens yeah, and gonna screw you up. It just happened to work thematically and I felt really bad. Oh. But I also didn't. That's so mean, Rachel, but it also <laughs> worked. So that's okay. Well, it worked in the second set of games, I will say. Um but man, I I really so in watching some of the gameplay back, um, and and obviously being a part of some of it, it was really fun to see where you guys all took the tribes. Thopters, I think, was the one that I found to be the most like intriguing. Um, and and Alex, I love the fact that you threw in a little combo there and kind of got something going with Psy. It was really really fun to watch. Uh, and and Doug, obviously. Your 1-1 one -one counters were amazing. Uh, really unfortunate that we were kind of in a mirror match, but it actually worked out. It was still a really fun match to be to be a part of, and I hope to watch for anybody that did watch it. Uh, and then, of course, Rachel with your horrors. I thought that thematically, I think your deck focused so well on that. Uh, it was really, really awesome. So well done all. 
Uh, I think week two was a very fun week. I'm excited to jump into the crazy combos, but before we get there, I just want to go ahead and look at the scores and the pairings for next week. So, or for, excuse me, this week. Uh, so obviously the Hydras and the Bears are going up against each other. As I already mentioned, Doug is in the lead. Uh, the Rochester Hydras, Rachel, you're sitting at one and one. Uh, so if you get a win here against Doug, you, I believe, solidify your place uh, in in the finals because Alex, while you are also one and one, uh, I think Rachel got her wins before you did. So we're going to count her as a little bit higher there. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just saying, Rachel, this is a big game for you. You could rematch Doug two weeks in a row uh, and see how this goes. So I, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, I know Doug is a very good player. Um, and I'm a little scared for you because I know how good Doug is, but <laughs> I also know how great you can be. And I think your deck building is really, really fun. Uh, and so I do wish you the best there. Alex, obviously sitting at one and one for the Stockholm humans. And then, uh, myself, the Charlotte crabs doing the absolute worst, uh, at zero and two. Uh, I'm just fighting to get a win at this point, Alex. So I, I have to beat you, man. It has to happen. I know you feel like this must that must happen, but I I can't I cannot fail my team either. Well, all I'm saying is you do have some making up to do from season two, so uh, it's true. But I'll also, all I'm saying is that uh, <laughs> humans eat a lot more crabs than crabs eat humans. That's so. true. That's a very that is a very true point. Uh, but we now have a zero seventeen in our corner, so I'm feeling pretty good. He's basically an island. So, uh, anyway. Uh, really quick, I want to mention before we jump into drafting and everything, uh, I, I do have a link in the chat for you guys. If you would like, we did introduce some, some merch, uh, to support your team. Uh, if you would like to pick up a shirt or a hoodie, uh, you can click that link in the chat, or if you're just hanging out during the JDC at any time, you just exclamation point merch, that'll bring that up for you. Uh, and you can go pick yourself up, you know, your favorite team shirt or hoodie, uh, we will probably be introducing some new products in the last couple of weeks there. Uh, and that stuff will be available for quite a while. So uh, if you would like to pick anything up, support your favorite team, feel free to do so. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun time. I love that we got uh, merch working, actually. So I'm really excited about that. But here we are, guys. It's crazy combo time. Uh, I'm excited. We had a lot of suggestions uh, in our Discord for this one. I, I went back today and like looked through everything. It just kept growing. We had people that were like, some, I, turn one soul ring, put a list of like 15 in a row. And it was just, <laughs> here's, a, here's a combo, here's a combo. And I'm like, okay, we need eight. Like <laughs> overachieving much. Uh, but uh, we did have some really good suggestions. I'm really excited about these. We've got Nethroid. We've got the new Minotaur uh, from, from Zendikar Rising. Really excited about that. The Locust God, Impervious Great Worm, Arcane Adaptation, Darksteel Reactor, Nine Lives, and then Bolus's Citadel as options here. Now, all of these, the idea is going to be to combo with them. So you guys suggested some combos in that uh, Discord channel. Um, I'm going to leave it open a little bit and say that, uh, you know, you have to use this card, but you can combo with it however you'd like throughout this week. So uh, you guys have a little bit more freedom as players to, to deck build with it. Uh, as far as the draft order for this evening, Alex, you are up first with the humans, my friend. Uh, I'm going to be following you up with the crabs. Then we have got the bears. So Doug and then the hydras rounding us out. Rachel, you've got the last pick this time round. So, Alex, I know we didn't get uh, a lot of time to look through this list, but what were your thoughts going into this? What cards stood out to you? And then, of course, what's your draft pick going to be? All right. So, I, I had I had I didn't have the, the the most time to think about this, and sadly, I didn't get to talk to Big Boss about it. But he has a few. A few things he loves. Uh, uh, I've played against him a lot. I've seen most of the things he's built. Uh, and when it comes to combos, he really enjoys uh, a certain card on this list. But uh, so I'm not gonna go with I'm not gonna go with like something crazy like you guys thought. I know, but pre-chat. Uh, spoilers. They thought I would make go, maybe go with the Locust God. That's not that's not his muse, but 
what is is the big six mana legendary artifact in the bottom right corner oh. bolus of citadel <laughs> i knew it no i didn't i thought the locust god but i did think bolus of citadel was going to be up there why why bolus of citadel above the locust god because i definitely would have pegged you in particular maybe not so much mons i don't know mons very well but i would have pegged you for a locust god guy yeah i do love giant the the in my heart i would probably go with either nethroi or the locust god one of the big big giant legendary creatures but uh there are several decks that mons himself has built around the locust god mostly involving his baby girl sisse uh <laughs> because you know she can fetch it uh but uh i feel like for the G gdc uh you know we we come from a super competitive uh you know background we're not but that's not what this is all about uh historic is a little more I don't want to say limited, but you just can't do as many things. Yeah. Uh, I want to see how much you can push Bolus' Citadel. And I'll just, I won't just say what spoiler, <laughs> like what combo I'm going with, but I will say the colors. I do plan to just be Azorius. Just be what? Not Azorius, but Orzov. Okay. Orzov. I was about to say. I said Azorius at first. Orzov. I was gonna say, Alex, you're you're you picked the wrong card if you're gonna go with Zorius, my friend. <laughs> I'm just looking at cards as well. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Multitask. I I, I, I see you. I see you. Well, Bolus of Citadel is a very potent card. I very much suspected that that would go very quickly, um, or at least be in the top four that we're gonna be drafted tonight. So I'm with you there. I, it was kind of towards the top of my list as well. Um, I, I really, really like Bolus' Citadel. You can do some really crazy stuff with it. Uh, but I'm excited to see what you've got. If you're going to Orzov, I that is not the build that comes to mind, at least right off the bat, uh, which I'm excited about. I, I like that. I like that you're pushing it into a little bit of a different color pair that I wouldn't necessarily expect, we'll say. Um, so, so I'm excited to go against it as well. Uh, I'm a little scared, but that's okay. Uh, I think that's how it's supposed to be. So, uh, all right. Well, the Stockholm humans, Bolus's Citadel is taken. Nobody else can play it and I'm up. Uh, and I gotta be honest. Uh, like I said, Bolus's Citadel was up there and there are three cards that still stick out to me as like really intriguing. Um, I'll start with Nethroi. Nethroi is a really interesting card, in my opinion. I think there's a lot you can do with it. Uh, it's a very powerful card, uh, in my opinion. And I do think that it would be a fun one to play around with. It's also a card that I have not yet played a lot with. Uh, and so it would be definitely outside of my comfort zone a little bit. The Locust God, also at the top, to or towards the top of my list, I should say. Uh, it's just super good. Like, everybody knows the Locust God is crazy good, so uh, it you gotta be you gotta be pretty excited about that uh and then dark steel reactor is the other one that really sticks out to me i have built the dark steel reactor kind of standard combo deck uh and it's very very fun uh it's also very potent and very annoying to play against all things that make it very attractive to me um but i think uh i think i'm gonna go with nethroy I think I'm going to go outside the box a little bit, push my comfort zone. I've been doing it most of the season anyway, and I'm losing like crazy. So let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, I think I'm going to go Nethroi. I think it's going to be the most fun and the most outside of my comfort zone. Uh, and so I, I think that uh, that's definitely the route I'm going to go. I think it's going to be a really fun one. Um, uh, the other cards also, I will say, are really fun. Like Arcane Adaptation, you can do stuff with. Nine Lives and Solemnity is kind of the standard Nine Lives build. Uh, and then the uh, the Fury of Akum or whatever it is is a really sweet card as well because you can get just tons of extra stuff uh, or extra combat phases. And then of course Impervious Great Worm. But uh, I, I'm being respectful and not taking the Great Worm, uh, and that may come become apparent later on. We'll see. But uh, I think Nethroy is going to be my pick. So uh, looks like Doug, you are up next, my friend. What are you thinking? Uh, I mean, this is a tough one. I, I did kind of have some ideas in mind of cards here. I will say that the, the first couple picks there were probably in my top four. Um, and both Nethroi and Bolasigil are really 
really strong cards and interesting decks to build around. A lot of options for your combos. Um, so this week, though, I think I'm going to go a little different. Um, and I'm actually going to do kind of a, I guess, a theme deck more based around the combo, but also just kind of a, a what's a, a in memoriam deck, I guess maybe you call it. I, I had a, a good friend of mine, uh, my cat Lando, he, he passed away last week. Um, mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to do nine lives and, and do a, a you know, in, in honor of Lando, do a, a, a nice cat deck. Doug. But, uh, we'll have some good cat combos going on. Doug, not only a phenomenal magic player, but a heart of gold. My goodness, I, Doug. I'm so I sorry. I can't mad. Oh, no. Doug, I oh, had I, no I, idea. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I didn't, it, it, this is a, it's a, it's a for, I don't want it to be like a, oh no, this is the sad deck. This is a, to honor his memory because he was really cool. So that is so I, I sweet. Think, I don't know if he would necessarily appreciate it, but I know he, he liked <laughs> to, to come bug me while I played uh, Magic. So he would, he would definitely make sure to do that. <laughs> oh, Doug, that is so sweet. Oh my gosh, I love that. Well, I don't have any follow-up questions. I'm just really stoked for you. That is so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, I wish you the best of luck. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I hope that it goes well. Nine Lives is a really cool card, for sure. Yeah, uh, I've never actually built a deck with it, so it'll it'll be fun. It's a new experience. For sure. Well, good luck to you, Doug. I, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, Thanks. All right, Rachel. You're the last one up this week. What you thinking? Man, you know what? I'm really happy that someone's doing nine lives. And you know what? I'm glad, glad it has such a wonderful purpose. Um, <laughs> that was one of the cards I originally liked because I have played with it. Um, and I was looking at Nethroi, but, you know, I'm not honestly that upset uh, with losing to Abzan. I don't really need to play Abzan colors. <laughs> Um, and I had been thinking, you know, do I go with uh, this newer card, the uh, Minotaur, which kind of plays into my love of goblins and just aggro and consistently and doing a lot of attacks and just getting <laughs> attacking so many times. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, oh, man, it's a worm. I have to go with the worm. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I, <laughs> I have to go with the worm. I'm sorry. Everybody, I feel partially responsible. I got these cards to everybody very late. Uh, this is a safe pick. It's fine. But no, just kidding. Rachel, the worm is a very good pick. Uh, I think you have got some amazing potential builds for, for the impervious great worm. Uh, and I, I have... Got I, I gotta be honest, Doug. You might have a rough time fighting the worms with uh with your your cat. I, I'll be honest. Yeah, it does not look like a super fair fight. Just looking <laughs> I, at the, the artwork look, of the two, but I do have Simba on my side, so that's I mean, true. Look, I in my heart will fully appreciate your choice to do cats in Nine Live Justice. However. I cannot go easy on you, as oh, no. everybody here has told me. It depends for me. I have to. I have to. And so for because of this, I'm going to go back to my roots, and I'm going to choose green. I have no idea how to combo with him. It is more than likely just going to be how many worms can I spit out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see how many worms I can spit out. Oh, Rachel, if you play Mirror March with Impervious Great Worm... You would be my favorite person in the world. <laughs> you know? You know. That might be on my mind. I love Mirror March. If you did it and it worked with a Great Worm, <laughs> like that would be ridiculous. <laughs> See, uh, I actually have great luck with flipping coins, so... Don't say that now. I would say that after the game, <laughs> just to be safe. Nope. I'm Okay, but if it doesn't I'm work, I'm just telling you. I'm not saying I am going to put Mirror March, but I will heavily think about having mirror merch in this i, I kind of think you have to now that's all i'm saying no i'm just kidding uh i <laughs> i really really like great worm there's actually a couple builds that come to mind mirror march being one of them uh with with the great worm i know we were kind of in, in pre-show chat we were kind of talking about luca combo and transmography and things like that there's a lot of options there 
Um, and who's to say you, you can you can do it all if you really want to. Um, but uh, I really wish you guys the best. Uh, obviously, Worms versus Cast is going to be a really interesting one. Um, <laughs> and then uh, the Citadel versus what is Nethroy technically? A nightmare thing? It's a cat. Cat, it's a cat. nightmare beast. It's a cat yeah. nightmare beast. I can't actually <laughs> read it from my. Oh. I I can't read it because it's smaller. It, on oh, my end. so so with Ikoria, it like lined up on the color. So cats were always a white. The black uh, was always a nightmare, and a green was always a beast. See, That's you guys right. are much better ma magic players than me. <laughs> clearly, no, <laughs> I didn't know because that. <laughs> all of us had a different uh, Ikoria commander deck, so all uh, of them were different. I see. I see now. Uh, well, I'm excited for Nethroy. I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, Alex, I do have to win. Like, I need to win against you. Uh, here's the thing: that I can't, I can't lose. It's well, just not possible. My thing is, I'm gonna, I'm in the losers bracket regardless. So for next week, I just want to go ahead and throw this out there. Next week is finals week, so we will have the two highest uh, seed players versus the lower two. I'm already in, guaranteed for the lower two, uh, and Doug is guaranteed in the top. Uh, so really, Alex and Rachel, you guys are kind of battling it out for for second and third here at this point. But um, I uh, I feel the need to at least get one win. And so, Alex, I'm bringing everything I can to the table here. Oh, I'm glad you're bringing everything you can. <laughs> I, I just I just feel terrible in the future when I have to obliterate you with. You're so mean. Praying, <laughs> praying to the dragon god. To the dragon god who's now like trapped That's in some he, weird universe thing oh well, yeah whatever no <laughs> details details he's fine uh well doug and uh and rachel how how confident are you with your picks now knowing what each each peep each other player has uh do you feel like doug in particular you because you obviously picked before before rachel how do you feel uh, I think that it's going to be tough. I mean, I feel like uh, I think Rachel's got a lot of experience with the green decks. I'm kind of coming in with some ideas, but I really don't have a... I, it, it's going to take me a bit. i got to come up with a, a deck list that really uh, pulls it all together. So I, I do think that the... Uh, that her her pick was really I, either of them honestly Morag or the impervious great worm, um, both have some real, real good combo options that I uh, I think are going to be pretty strong. So yeah, I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, not That's too it. scared. I mean, they are just hydras, you know, so not, not a big <laughs> deal, right? <laughs> no big deal. Oh man, Doug, I like the. Uh the confidence there that's awesome uh well i certainly want to wish everybody a great week this week i certainly hope that uh the decks we come up with are going to be fun to watch for everybody so please do check out the respective streams as things progress uh we will get times and things like that posted in the discord and everything as we go through the week so do stay tuned there but uh i want to mention as well uh, really quickly, uh, on the schedule, you may notice, and I'll, I'll actually really quickly just jump back to this. You'll notice that week four is dealer's choice. Uh, and essentially for finals week, what we've decided is we're going to ask you guys to just suggest a card that you really, really want to see us build a deck around. Uh, it can be really, really good. It can be a brush wag or whatever the heck that stupid thing is. But you can suggest anything. Uh, what is it, Alex? Early bushwag. Bushwag, thank you. I said brushwag. You guys gotta do Grumgoli the generous. <laughs> oh god. Uh dealer's choice is gonna be a fun week, guys. Um <laughs> feel oh free I to suggest Grumgoli. anything. Uh we'll we'll prompt that early this week so that way we can get uh the options out to our players a little bit sooner than we did this week. My bad on that one, but uh really excited to see what you guys come up with there. And then of course the deck building itself is gonna be a good time as well. But I just want to say uh, we're halfway through. I really appreciate that uh, everybody in our community has been really involved with this and giving suggestions and also watching the streams and hanging out with everybody. I want to say a special thank you to the players as well. Uh, Doug, Rachel, and Alex, you guys have been phenomenal to work with so far. Uh, really excited to see how this season turns out. Um, and uh, I wish everybody the best of luck this week, uh, except Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Wink. Wink. Uh, Rachel, I see you posted in chat. Let's get this worm. What is that? 
<laughs> let's get this in. instead of let's get this bread it's let's get this worm oh my gosh all right well this is gonna be a fun week guys all right i uh i, I think we're gonna go ahead and jump off of here again stay tuned for uh when when the gameplay is going to be happening we will post that in our discord uh and so feel free to check out those streams along the way but thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys throughout the week i suppose as we do our gameplay and then of course next week on monday uh october 12th for the dealer's choice live stream but thanks for watching guys we will